Hello, my name is Kehan Parsi. I'm the Graduate Program Director here at the Nice Wonger Institute for Bioethics and Health Policy. I want to welcome you all to a new semester here in the online graduate program. For those of you returning, welcome back. And for those of you who are new to the program, welcome. I think you'll find this course to be a really interesting and, and engaging one. Uh, John Hart and I are going to be team teaching this class on the history of medicine and bioethics. It's a course that we've offered once before and it I think received some very good feedback. I think it's a, even though it's an elective course, I think it provides a, a very uh, useful and important foundation for your work in the program uh, because we start off with some basic history of medical ethics and medicine in general. So what I'm going to do is just provide you a little bit of background about the course and its content and take you through the first half and then switch over to John Hart and he'll tell you a little bit about the second half. So there's a variety of texts required for this course as you'll see in the syllabus. Uh, we'll start off with um, a work by Albert Johnson, Al Johnson, who is uh, uh, now a retired ethicist but uh, really a pioneer in the field and he wrote a slim volume called A Short History of Medical Ethics and that's a very nice introduction to some of the historical intellectual currents in medical ethics. So we'll be spending some time looking at the ancient Greeks and the ancient Romans and, and different uh, traditions in Asia, in India, and in China. And I think that'll provide us just a nice starting point uh, with regards to um, the history of medical ethics. And then we'll shift gears a bit and look at works uh, about uh, the American Medical Association's Code of Medical Ethics, specifically uh, the American Medical Ethics Revolution book, which is that edited anthology by Kaplan, Baker, Emanuel and Latham. And I've used this book for years. When I used to work at the AMA, I used to use that work with uh, fellows, and I found it to be a really interesting book. I think you'll learn a lot about the AMA in general and then the code specifically through that work. Um, there's some really great chapters in there, and so we'll work uh, on that book for a few weeks. And then we'll move on and look at some work by Paul Starr, who some or perhaps all of you have at least have heard of Paul Starr. He's an eminent sociologist. Um, he uh, is currently at Princeton, but he was this uh, kind of um, incredible wunderkind when he was a young scholar, wrote this book in the early 80s, won the Pulitzer for the Social Transformation in American Medicine, still a landmark book. We'll look at that text and then look at some commentaries that have been published since the publication of that work. So that will kind of round us out for the first half, and then we'll move on to The Birth of Bioethics, again, another work by Albert Johnson, and that'll... Um, uh, describe and chronicle the development of American bioethics. And as you all know, bioethics now is truly international intellectual movement. It's not just confined to the U.S. or North America, but you can find bioethics in, in Asia and in Africa and Europe and Latin America, really all over the globe. So those are the works that we'll be looking at. Uh, with regards to your uh, responsibilities, obviously you'll have weekly readings from those works. You'll be asked a set of questions that you'll have to respond to. There'll be first responders for those questions to so help us better organize our weekly discussions. And then in the middle of the semester, we'll have um, an open book um, exam, which will hopefully provide you a kind of refresher to um, you know, just convey to us and to yourself that you've grasped some of the basic material and, and you'll be asked just to take it until you achieve a 90%. So there's not a grade attached to it, but you just have to achieve a 90%. So that's really the first half of the course, and I'm going to switch it over now to Dr. Hart, and he'll tell you a little bit about how the remainder of the course will go and the other uh, assignment that will be involved in the class. Well, let me extend my welcome to all of you. Uh, in addition to Kaon's welcome to the course, I'll be picking up just prior to the midterm exam with um, Albert Johnson's uh, The Birth of Bioethics. So where the first half of the course looks at how ethics kind of develops within medicine, as a practice, the second half of the course really looks at how bioethics itself becomes its own academic discipline. From Johnson, we're going to move to David Rothman's book, Strangers at the Bedside, which is something of a benchmark work in the field these days. I think it's in its second or third edition, and I think you'll find it a compelling and, and quickly moving read. It's, a, it's an interesting look at, at how medicine changes in such a way that bioethics gains its own footing as an intellectual enterprise. After Rothman, we're going to close the semester with a relatively new book in the field called The Ethics of Bioethics. And the fact that these kinds of books are now appearing on the scene is further indication of bioethics developing itself as an authentic academic discipline. It's a collection of essays of the field really reflecting on itself, asking where it's been and where it's going. 
and I think that you'll like the selections we choose from that. The last component of the course, as many of you are used to by now, is a final paper. We'll ask you to write 3,000 to 3,500 words, 12 to 15 pages, uh, double space, 12 point font. As for topics, uh, it's really up to you. You could pick a theme, a concept, a person that touches on uh, the material we've covered over the course of the term and write what we hope would be a publishable quality researched paper in that area. So with that, I think uh, we'll close this video. Thanks for your attention and we'll look forward to the semester together.